Organizers of last night's peaceful memorial vigil in Twin Falls hoping that the gathering has spurred change. Idaho News 6 reporter Natasha Williams has more tonight on what steps vigil organizers are hoping the community will take as we move forward. These seats and the park surrounding it were filled with people, many of them wearing masks and most of them wearing black to show solidarity. We want to bring the focus back to mourning these people, and I think that's really important right now. The peaceful vigil following days of protests around the country. For vigil organizer Winnie Christensen, George Floyd's death struck her in a powerful way. As a mother, when he called out his mother, I, I felt it for my three boys. I'm raising three black boys, and I don't want to be asking when will that happen to them or when will racism impact them in a great way. Moving forward, organizers say they want to remind mind everyone inciting change comes in big gatherings like the vigil, but it comes in smaller actions too, like standing up against racism in your personal life, educating yourself and interacting with people of color in your community. Even a little hello or a smile is safe. Uh, don't make them feel isolated. Make him feel as one of your community members, as a resident of Twin Falls. They say just because you don't see it happening here doesn't mean it isn't happening. It's very easy, especially in our community, to make it not our problem and to separate ourselves from it. And that's not the case. It really, it really, really is our problem. When he says seeing so many people showing their support sends a powerful message to her children and other children of people of color. It might not look like much, but the community coming together and telling them that they are okay. That's a good day. That's a good day. If you missed it, we did go ahead and live stream the vigil. You can find a link to that on our website. Just head to ksawtv.com. In Twin Falls, Natasha Williams, Idaho News 6.